Chapter 1 Rice Flour You are listening at FameTV.info Chapter 1 Rice Flour Golden Autumn and August, the sun is shining brightly. On the vast expanse of land, the golden rice sea is blowing in the breeze, setting off layers of rice waves, amidst the swaying golden waves, a little girl in a green jacket skirt and hair dot brushed hair closed her eyes, her arms widened, and her face was pleasantly sinking into the scent of rice. Rice flour, rice flour, the loud, crisp, worry-dot-free and joyful sound that belongs to the teenager, from far to near, quickly spread into the rice waves with the breeze. The little girl heard the sound, opened her eyes and tilted her head, she saw the windy young man on Tianlong waving his hand and rushing towards her. Seeing the teenager, the little girl curled her eyebrows, and a bright smile appeared on her face. She raised her hand and waved towards the teenager. Brother, I am here. Yen Wentao looked at the little girl with joy, and his slender legs got bigger. Amidst the golden rice waves, the little green girl stands with a light smile, her eyebrows are not drawn but green, her lips are not dotted but red, her eyes are like stars, and her skin is like fat. Even after watching it for nine years, Yen Wentao still feels that his eldest sister can't see enough, she looks like a jade girl next to a god. Brother, why are you here? As soon as the boy arrived, the little girl opened her mouth with a smile, and her white and delicate cheeks were slightly reddened by the sun backslash s rays, making her more charming and lovely. You still asked, what do you want to do when you run out in such a big sun, you are not afraid to tan yourself. As soon as Yen Wentao arrived, he immediately took off the straw hat he was wearing and put it on the little girl backslash s head carefully. Look, your face is blushing, grandma must scold you when you get home. The little girl stood obediently, letting the boy put on a hat for herself. After she finished wearing it, she took up the boy's arm affectionately and said coquettishly. If my grandmother gets angry, the third brother will have to help me intercede. You. Yen Wentao nodded the little girl backslash s forehead with his finger, his expression was doted and helpless, let backslash s go, let backslash s go back soon, the uncle has a letter and my grandmother is waiting for you to read the letter. What? The little girl was stunned for a moment, why do you have a letter at this time? Yen Wentao shook his head. The autumn harvest is about to come. I guess it is to ask when we will go to the county where the uncle is appointed. The little girl shrugged her shoulders, expressing that she didn't care about it. Seeing this, Yen Wentao smiled happily. Why? You don backslash t want to see the uncle and aunt. In the year the elder sister was born, the uncle was elected. In the second year, she was appointed as the county magistrate of Chipin as a top three dot level scholar. At that time, the elder sister was young and her grandmother was in poor health. The two stayed in their hometown. This day, eight years have passed. Looking at the elder sister who had only met her parents until she was nine years old, a trace of distress flashed in Yen Wentao backslash s eyes. Want to see you? The little girl replied very carelessly. Compared to being confined to the backyard of a deep house, she prefers the unfettered pastoral life. If possible, she would rather stay in the field for the rest of her life and be a leisurely person. At this time, the two brothers and sisters had already embarked on the country road, and the people around them suddenly increased. Oh, it backslash s Dao Hua and Wentao. Uncle San. Master Wu. Aunt Six. Uncle Wu. The two brothers and sisters greeted everyone in an obedient and happy way, which made the smiles on the faces of the people around them deeper and deeper. Why are you coming out with such a big Sunday? What else can it be, Dao Hua must have come out to inspect their rice fields again. As soon as the words came out, everyone laughed happily. The little girl also laughed. I can backslash t help it, my family just pointed at this point and harvested it. Dao Hua, listen to my aunt, your father is the magistrate, you don backslash t need to work as hard as us, go home and enjoy your blessing. The little girl smiled and replied. Auntie, 
the county magistrate has to eat too. Ha ha ha, look at our Dao Hua, we know how to help the family at such a young age, no wonder Mrs. Yen is so rare for her. ISN backslash T it rare to hire people. Old man, if I had such a granddaughter, I would have to die. Listening to everyone talking and laughing, the little girl was always full of smiles on her face, holding her third brother in one arm and inserting one hand in the rice ears by the field. She walked briskly towards the most magnificent house in the village. Go. The two brothers and sisters walked away, and discordant voices were heard from the crowd. What backslash s the use of recruiting people, it backslash s not a girl movie. E air, you don backslash t spray manure here. Did someone mess with you? I just don backslash t like you being so fond of a little girl. Her county magistrate backslash s father will not leave her in her hometown if he takes her a little bit. He stays for eight years. Don backslash t talk nonsense if you don backslash t no, Dao Hua is doing her filial piety to Mrs. Yen on behalf of her parents. Humph, this is just a nonsense of fooling outsiders, do you believe it too? I have heard that the grandfather of Yen County married a concubine from a scholarly family in office, and the concubine gave birth to a pair of dragon and phoenix wombs. His daughter was born like a flower like a jade, and the grandfather of Yen County likes it very much. The rice flower grown in the village is like a village girl, and it is strange that the grandfather of Yen County likes it. The peasant man speaks very loudly, and coupled with the openness of the countryside, even after walking a certain distance, the two brothers and sisters Yen went out can still hear the conversation intermittently. Brother, what are you doing? The little girl grabbed Yen Wentao, who wanted to go back to the theory. Yen Wentao was born tall and magnificent, but at the age of 13, his height is almost as high as that of an average adult man, and the little girl almost failed to hold him. I backslash am going to teach the dog who can backslash t vomit ivory from his mouth. Looking at Yen Wentao who was annoyed, the little girl laughed out at once. Yo, brother three is okay, you can now export as a chapter. Yen Wentao is notoriously not fond of reading. Hearing the girl backslash s teasing, his anger dissipated a little. The little girl took the opportunity to pull the person back. It backslash s just some boring comments from outsiders, why are you so serious? Yen Wentao stretched out his hand to rub the little girl backslash s head, but unfortunately it was blocked by the straw hat. Dao Hua, Don backslash t listen to their nonsense, you are the eldest daughter of our Yen family, and the concubine backslash s woman will definitely not be able to pass you. Even if, the little girl tilted her head to look at Yen Wentao, whose face was blushing, her round apricot eyes turned slyly, and she smiled and said, what backslash s the matter? Yen Wentao gritted his teeth. Even if the uncle really likes that little concubine backslash s daughter, don backslash t be afraid. You still have grandmother and us. We will definitely not let you be bullied. The little girl smiled brightly, showing some dazzling white teeth, and flipped her right hand back and forth among the ears of rice on the edge of the field. When she saw the green rice flower in her palm deepens, the smile in her eyes became stronger. Yes, there is a grandmother in everything, and no matter how old you are, you dare not listen to your grandmother. There was no worry in his tone. Dao Hua, you crazy girl, Don backslash T hurry back to the old lady, you really want to be tanned. A puffy shout came from the courtyard more than ten meters away. When I heard it, I knew that the speaker was physically strong. The little girl shook her body, with a helpless look on her short legs, she ran towards the gate, yelling, Grandma, your lovely little rice flower is back. End of this chapter. Listen to the full novel at fametv.info, direct link in the description.